Okay, so I am actually in the uh, topic of on on a landscape here. So actually, this is our campus, the faculty campus that is mainly uh, faculty of sustainable Girls University Malaysia Sabha. So this one is the rubber plot, Pular Tanaman Gita in Bahasa Malaysia. It is called Gita rubber. So it is a rubber plantation this side. Okay, so this is we have one very big water reservoir, water tank and this is a one resting place here and this is actually for the different types of crops is allocated for different types of crops here have the pineapple have other so many crops dragon fruit have tried to plant here but as I have mentioned in my previous video that the soil is not suitable to grow in any types of crops except some of the leguminous and also the banana. Banana is growing very well comparatively to other crops. So this is uh, our coffee plantation space. Huh? It's called the coffee uh, plot. So there is a new plantation. So actually this is our, our final year student and our some of our le lecturers. So they usually transplanted from the layering air layering from that big plants so later i will go on uh, once i will go inside and i will try to show the coffee uh, fruits and flowers as well so this is our campus the main campus is here the admin building and yesterday i tried to show the central lake is here here we have another small lake here as this is agricultural campus we have to ensure a huge water reservoir for any crisis particularly sometimes in Malaysia the temperature is very high and long time sometimes several months there is no rain so we, do, we need to irrigate our crops so uh, the big problem you can see the weeds eh? huge hundred types of weed is here and very difficult to control every week we have the weed cutter usually they are cutting the clearing some of the elbows this is the road walking road or the transport as road and this is the banana field here you can see this is the banana so our our current day uh, our current dean is a very uh, uh, fond of one banana plantation so this is uh, the cassava this is i planted last year with my uh, students so uh, coming weeks we'll try to harvest though the growth is reducing uh, every year due to the uh, mismanagement as well and also the soil condition so you can see this is the outside this is the outside this is actually the public place and the public uh, oil pump field in our campus we have also have so later i will try to show so how it looks like from uh, that peak of the hill eh? not mountain so the actually hill and the sand and uh, mostly the soil and also have uh, the red soil and sometimes the soil is uh, very compact clay soil also so this is the outside area it's from the campus this is where we, this side we have the uh, step quarter here and our all the net house shed house all is here this all our net house shed house everything is here they usually grow inside and we have there have the dark facilities we have the broiler facilities we have the deer farm rabbit farm goat farm cow farm this cow this is the, this, that one is the cow i'm trying to show this one this we have some cow because we have the three program here eh? crop production animal production and horticulture and landscaping so i am now working in horticulture and landscaping uh, program so this is outside, huh? so we have the boundary here. So I tried to show. This is uh, last year, that means uh, three or four months just planted pineapple. So you can see the growth is very weak due to the soil condition as well. So we have to have the cover the soil, that means the, for throw the solarization huh? or raising bed. Because there is no way we cannot grow anything directly on that soil. So you can see is outside public oil pump plantation so you know Malaysia is the 
world biggest oil palm exporter but in production is the second indonesia is the in production the topmost the highest the first the huge production in indonesia but their consumption rate is high but in malaysia in production second but exporting the top the highest exporting country so this is our boundary of the campus just outside is a public property so until this the main road connection at the last and entirely this is inside our campus so throughout outside that means the boundary we have the way so the organization or structure or landscaping is very nice here so you can see the outside oil pump plantation the public oil pump plantation this is the one and only crop in malaysia and malaysian economy is mainly depending on oil pump export okay so later i'll try to show some other parts in our campus so this is the banana one local local banana actually but origin in indonesia is called uh, sabah banana in bahasa malaysia it is called isang sabah so this crop is mostly suitable in that land and uh, I, I see the for the banana production the intercultural operation or other maintenance is almost uh, zero we can say zero it's very 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 negligible uh, intercultural operation or other things so mostly in this local area they plant whether oil pump or this pisang saba so this uh, pisang saba that means the saba banana they actually they use for the goring huh? goring in bahasa called goring but it's fry it's fry i have tried this i, I like it i like it very much it uh, seems to be very tasty uh, not sweet but have little bit but after goring is mostly and the malaysians they'll they, they they're fond of different types of goring huh? that means the fry the banana have uh, the sweet potato have the cassava uh so, some some one types of uh, jackfruit this is a small type there's another name in local name so this one is the poultry eh? poultry facilities is a poultry farm uh, mainly for research purpose not commercial production here and the other side another side have the and dark facilities so one by one i will try to show you this outside is the completely public property eh? So in Malaysian government rules, all the land property owner is the government. Public is not the owner. So the public they have to hire from the government. Hundred years, thousand years, usually called ninety-nine years, and nine hundred ninety-nine years, and they can uh, build up based on the location. This government already imposed which location is suitable for all. So based on that, they can grow the different types of crops whether it is industrial area, whether it is the commercial area, whether it is the plantation area. So they can follow that one. So very long way, eh? entirely from the campus, surrounding the campus. That means that with the boundary, we have the walking way, walking road. So this all is the, this is the uh, local chicken. Eh? This is called the deshi chicken, also called in Bahasa, is called the uh, I am Kampung. Kampung that means village. So, this is the different types of village varieties here. You can see, so is some of the chicken male. Huh? All these are male. Uh, so, they are ducking, they are shouting at the morning. Huh? So, some of the hen and some of the cock is here. Okay, so this is a public houses. So in Malaysia, they, uh, they usually live uh, separate. Huh? They don't like, especially they don't like to uh, live in crowded areas or in uh, that means so many people, so many houses in one place. No, and they try to uh, keep them as uh, isolated. Uh, this, this is their culture. Okay, you can see some. Uh, uh, birds is uh, singing, huh? or we can say shouting actually. 
So this all are oil pump in. This outside, huh? this outside of the campus. The majority of the crops, the main crops, you can see the oil pump. So they have tried to plant some coconut. So actually this coconut is also not growing very well due to the soil condition here. Okay. This is campus. Faculty of Sustainability and Science, University of Malaysia, Sabah. This is another small lake. Actually, uh, in true sense, this is not lake. Actually, this is water reservoir and uh, connected with the central drain. Actually, drain is uh, facilities which uh, we should maintain uh, because when the raining in Malaysia, the rain sometimes is heavy rain and for a long time, especially in the uh, October, November, until February. So, the rainy season. So this is the duck facilities. Here we have some duck here. The management they usually grow some duck. Okay. There are some others, so later I will show you. So this is the lake. Okay, so so this duck facilities is covered by the uh, boundary yeah, by net. Okay, this is from Muhammad Amirul Alam. That means uh, I am working here in Faculty of Sustainable Consider Senior Lecturer. I am more than two and a half years already and mostly teaching uh, plant breeding, weed science, roots and tuber crops, seed technology, uh, herbs, herbs and spices crops. Uh, okay, so mainly, but this is depending on which semester they are offering. So that's all from me today. So later I will show some other places. This is the rabbit farm. Eh? We have some rabbits here. So later we have the, uh, which is called the deer. Eh? Or, uh, this, uh, in Bahasa, the rabbit is called Arnab. Okay, so now a little bit raining. So I have to stop. See you again sometimes.